Hey everybody, and welcome to Floor 13 Deep State. I'll just let this play. So, this is a remake of a 1990s game I never played, so I don't really have any nostalgia for it or any, any uh, preconceived notions of what this should be. From what I understand, this is a set in a, in a dystopian world. This is one year ago in Blackfire's Bridge, by the way. Uh, it is a procedurally generated game where we, I think, are the baddies. We're some form of the government in England, I believe. And it's up to us to make sure that whatever directives we have happen. Like, whatever we want to have happen, they should happen and if that means assassinating people if that means interrogating people if that means surveilling people illegally we do that because we're the deep state government um so normally i don't play as a bad guy in games but today in this well in this series we're going to be bad guys so turn up the music a little and uh but yeah this is at blackfriars bridge Meeting with your contact. Hello, I'm glad we could meet today. No need to face me, just enjoy the view. Okay, just look out onto the water. So it looks like we have option of okay, question mark, or exclamation mark. Um, let's go with exclamation mark. Sorry for the lack of formalities, but I am here to offer you an opportunity. Does it matter what we click here? Question? The miniature Ministry of Agricultural Agriculture and fisheries, excuse me. Okay. It isn't quite what you think. Okay. The Minister or the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. Leave. Well, we only have one option it's leave Black Blackfriars. So, goodbye, Blackfriar Bridge. Hello to day one, the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries in the morning. Be vigilant, be aware. Security clearance reference, Orange Nelson October. Property of the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, authorized use only, all lost cards should be returned to the department. All right. Um, I would like to enter the office, please. I wonder if Orange Nelson October or whatever, I wonder if that's the seed for this run because it's procedurally generated or... If that's always like that. So we have the Director General's office. Good morning, your office is through the door. I'm the office, I'm the Director General? Enter offices. Enter archives. End your day. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Enter offices. Uh, the archives are down the stairs. Well, let's enter our office. It's the first day we should we should probably report in to our office. We are, in fact, the director. Okay. All right. We should probably answer the phone. I see you're already at your desk. Excellent. Please remember to read reports every day. Okay. Is this timed? Read reports, check the suspects, holes in diary, back to hallway. Um, let's read the reports. Actually, uh, before I do that, can I hop out for just a quick sec? Lower the music volume a hair. All right, continue the game, please. All right, let's read the reports. What are we working on today on Monday, April the 1st? Terrorist suspect warning. Communication from Mr. Jeff Humphreys triggered stop words. Unknown INLA codes confirmed. I don't know what INLA codes are or stop words stop words mean like hey we should uh 
is that the opposite? Like stop words mean start, uh, start really paying attention. Let's report one of two. Well, how do I get, okay, next, sorry. Next, your transfer confirmed. I remember you asked for a transfer to a new department some time ago. I apologize for the lack of warning, but after a sudden reshuffle, a position appeared that had to be filled. Frankly, I don't know much about the role, but it sounds like issue management. No need to get your hands dirty. Best of luck. All right, we need to look for Mr. Jeff Humphreys. Put that away, please. Let's check the suspects, Mr. Humphreys. Hey, can someone get that for me? I'm a little busy. All right, Irish National Liberation Army, I-N-L-A. Because peace is just pointless. That's quite a, that's quite a motto. Oh, sorry about that. My, uh, what my mic just did. Um, their size is minuscule or minuscule group or cell. They are secretive. They oppose the government. They can be violent. Well, of course they can because peace is just pointless. So they will be violent, right? Um, criminal connections, Re reference, terrorist suspect warning. MOD intercept, like Ministry of Defense. Next, please. There's Mr. Jeff Humphreys. He lives at 24 Bellenden Lane. Aha, Bellend. Um, Brixton. He's a librarian. He doesn't look like a librarian to me. He looks like uh, he's a construction worker here. Uh, suspected INLA member. He is a sailor and a pub regular. He's a Republican suspect. I don't know enough about um, I don't know enough about the Irish Liberation Army and uh, the troubles to really get a lot of these like what do they mean by Republican? What do they mean? Uh, I feel a little out of my element here. All right, let's put those away. Well, actually, let's prepare some orders. Disinformation department. Two teams available with an eight thousand dollars slush fund or infiltration. I think we should try to get into the Irish National Liberation Army and see what we can come up with. Target the Irish National Liberation Army. Requisition two operatives in order to infiltrate target group and report progress. Uh, yes, I would like to sign that, please. What is the disinformation? Discredit target and report. Estimate completion by April 3rd. Why would I want to... Do I have to discredit him? Put that away. Polls and diary. What do we got going on here? Us versus them. Yeah, us versus them. Okay. Put away. Review my orders. What are my orders? My orders are just to do an infiltration order. And when the disinformation, I don't think is important. Um, I could be wrong. Could be very wrong about that. Let's uh, let's head back to the hallway. Yeah, floor thirteen. And then let's uh, let's enter the archives. Let's go see the archives. What's going on? We are the director. We should. We should fully know what's going on everywhere. A lot of pieces of paper. A lot of, a lot of paper filing going on here. In the Department of... Uh, excuse me, the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. Welcome pack. Welcome to the Pursuit Service. Use our teams to follow suspects and report where they go and whom they meet. We can also spot if a suspect is carrying a conspicuous item. Other departments may benefit from our reports. Welcome to Surveillance Service. Our teams will stay a discreet distance from a home or location and report who comes and goes. Don't forget, you can put surveillance on a suspect's house even if they are deceased. Welcome to the Search and Ransack. Order a search on a residence or compact location. To unobtrusively inspect items, we will leave no trace. Uh, setup is quicker if targets is already under surveillance. Um, ransack typically doesn't go along with leaving no trace. Normally, when something's ransacked, you have a pretty good, 
understanding that things were ransacked. At least that's my understanding. Okay, so now there's there's so there's two pages to this. This was the search, order a search, and this is the ransack. Order a ransack to remove anything suspicious, even if hidden, for further analysis, as long as we can carry it out. This is not so discreet. Innocent parties tend to complain if we turn their homes over for no good reason. The removal department. Sometimes you may need to remove a problematic suspect and accept the exposure risk. Naturally, people in the public eye will attract more attention if erased. Please avoid this. Welcome to abduction and interrogation. Bring in a low-profile subject for later questioning, sometimes jokingly referred to as a caution carry. Also a good way to get at personal items. They should be put under surveillance first. Welcome to the assault department. We will strike at a location, destroying it. There may be some collateral damage. Please avoid damaging notable landmarks. The disinformation department. After a successful smear, either a suspect or group will have less effect. Check the slush fund is not running out. Only higher profile people and groups can be smeared. Um, okay, yeah, so what's his face? The, the lowly guy at the uh, IN, whatever his face was. I don't think he was very high up, high profile. Infiltration department. This is more risky for violent or chaotic groups. Uh, well, we know that they're slightly violent. And that's it. So we know all the different departments. Hopefully this room is used for a little more than just reading those... You know, those 10, 12 documents, however many they were. Alright, I think we just go home for now, right? Day one's over. When you end your day, I will pick up any new orders and give them to the relevant departments. See you tomorrow, Director General. Alright. We're just trying to infiltrate. What school did you go to? St. Benedict's. County Antrim. Where did you join up? Derry Brigade. Where does your mother live? Dungannon. What car does she drive? Car? Uh, what color is it? You are dead. Live your legend or die without it. Let's go over this again. Transcript ends. So that's us trying to get into our head, like... Or that's the, um... Uh, our infiltration people getting their story straight. Because if they don't know their own backstory, clearly the, uh, the terrorist group will find out. Enter the office, please. Day two, late morning. All right, let's enter my office. Have I said that this game has pretty negative reviews on Steam? For whatever reason, people just aren't digging this game. Read reports. Department summary. We have two surveillance departments, three pursuit teams, two search teams, one removal team, two assault teams, two abduction teams, uh, 21 agents in the infiltration department, and we have a disinformation or two inf disinformation departments with 8,000 pounds. All right, what's next? A warm welcome from the office and staff. The other departments usually leave a welcome pack in the archives. Please note that the lunch menu will include a vegetarian option, except on Fridays. Except on Fridays they don't offer a vegetarian option? Alright. We've already went down to the archives. What's going on with the suspects? Um, well I already know this. So why did it, uh, have more orders I can prepare? Surveil, pursue, search, ransack, removal, abduction, disinformation. What else do I have? Put that away for now. Review the orders, polls, and diary. Nothing. All right. Let's, uh, let's check on our orders. We want to... Surveil him, probably. Pursue him. 
search, ransack, remove. I mean, you don't want to remove him, but we don't need to abduct him just yet. He's not a prominent individual, so we're not going to smear him. Let's just surveil him for now, please. Requisition equipment and personnel to carry out covert observation at the target location. This order will stay in force until rescinded. In place the next day. Please sign that for me. And what was, um... What was pursue? Carry out covert mobile observation of the target. This order will stay in force until rescinded. Requisition personnel and vehicles, uh... To convert mobile observation. You know what, let's sign that as well. We're gonna check him out at his home and we're also gonna follow him around. We could search his pro premises, but we should probably surveil it first. All right, um, I guess that's done for today. We don't do much on a single day, do we? I'll go check the archives just to make sure we're not missing anything. Anything in the archives today? This is an awful long animation just for... for nothing, probably. Yeah, just the welcome back. Okay, well, let's get out of here, I guess. Yeah, this I think this is something that some people had complained about with it. The animations were, in, were pretty slow. There is a lot of animations for a lot of nothing. But maybe that's just because we're on early days. Terrorists are hiding among us. That's another game. That's a different game, by the way. Alright, head into the ministry. Day three. No chatter. You have one new suspect file, okay? So yeah, we got to keep juggling suspects that we can't throw all our teams at one guy when we might need to uh, to have them for other other groups. So what do we have? I don't know who was in here smoking before us. We just got here. Mr. Jeff Humphreys, the librarian. At 8 o'clock, Mr. Humphreys leaves 24 Bell End and Lane, Brixton. At 8.30, Mr. Humphreys arrives at his office. 14.30, Mr. Humphreys leaves. 15, Mr. Humphreys visits lockup garage. 15.30, Mr. Humphreys leaves the garage. 18.06, Mr. Humphreys returns home. Where were you from between 15.30 and 18.06? But we, we may want to check out this garage. And here is, this is just the watching of his home. Well, he didn't do anything that day. Um, so all we have of him is, is, is leaving and coming back. Well, he didn't do anything at his house that day. He was out doing other things. Operation to infiltrate national, Irish National Liberation Army has started with two agents. Our target is to get one agent embedded. This group will resist attempts at penetration. Agents may be lost if they are compromised. Further reports given when progress is noted. Alright, so let's put that away. Let's uh, check on the suspects now. Yes, we know them. Ah, the lockup garage. That's what we learned. Wasteland? What does that say? Something... I mean, it's not wasteland. Something too rear. Can't really tell what it is. It's something land, but it can't be waste because there's not another T. A row of off-street garages. Well, let's prepare some orders. I would like 
to surveil. One team is available, one team is assigned. I would like to surveil the garage, please. I would also like to search the garage, but we should probably discreetly search target location and record any suspicious items observed. Um, yeah, let's do that. This apartment targets large but contained locations. Yeah, so we don't want to rans- we don't want to assault them, we don't want to ransack it. Let's just- let's just check it out. Put the orders away for now. Check the poles. Us versus them are fine. Head back to the hallway and I think we're done for the day. Let's end my day. Day four. Yeah, these whole, like, transition scenes, they're kind of unnecessary. But they look nice. I appreciate that someone put some... Excuse me, put some effort into them, but... They do kind of slow down the game quite a lot. Day four. Anything new? You have one new suspect file. Okay, let's check it out. Let's read the reports. Ah, we had something new. Lockup garage. Items, items observed bomb. Explosive device with timer. We gotta take that away. Can't let them have that. No, he picked up a bomb. He has the bomb. Mr. Humphreys leaves 24 Bell End in Lane Brixton. He arrives at his office. He leaves his office. He visits the lockup garage. He picks up the bomb. He leaves the garage. He's carrying the bomb. He returns home. So the bomb is no longer at the garage. The bomb is is uh at his house. Search team manor location. Mr. Jeff Humphreys visits the garage. Mr. Humphreys leaves the garage. Alright, so, uh, he's got a bomb with him now? Bomb. Small weapon. Observed. Not, not been taken. Not by us, I guess. Known groups. What is known groups? Okay. So we can do a... We can do orders against groups. Or we can do orders against people. We can do orders against locations. So we could search the lockup garage again. We could ransack it. There's that bomb. Like, we need to get that bomb. Mr. Jeff Humphreys. What about his house? We just have this. So, I need to prepare orders. I need to, um... Remove him? Contract deniable third party via untraceable cryptocurrency to indirectly remove the target. Now, I don't want to probably want to do that. Abduct him? Target must be under surveillance before we can plan an operation. I thought he was under surveillance. Detain target and move to a pointed holding area in preparation for persistent questioning. I thought he was under surveillance. Hold on, let's, let's put that away. What are our orders? We're surveilling the home of Mr. Humphreys. We're pursuing Mr. Humphreys. We're surveilling the lockup garage. How many, uh... How many surveillance teams do we have? I wish I uh, knew that. It's nothing in here though. Am I not already surveilling him? 
Well, I'm surveilling his location, right? I'm surveilling his home. Oh, I, it's red. The reason why... It was kind of confusing me that it was red, but... It's red... It seems like it's probably red always. You would think it would go away. It would not be red if you were already surveilling them. I, I do want to uh, detain this, this gentleman who apparently has a bomb. And I would now like to search his house, please. I guess we actually probably what we need to do is ransack, right? Because search doesn't take something away. Probably, I do want to probably ransack his home. <laughs> yeah, expropriate recording suspicious items. I want to do both search and ransack. I probably shouldn't have searched. Probably should have ransacked. I can actually, I can, uh, I can, um, I can review my orders and remove one of those. search of Mr. Humphreys to record any suspicious items? No, I, I want to rescind that order, please. Rip that up, put it in the in the fire. I do want to ransack his house to look for that bomb. And I also want to abduct him and take him away, please, because he has a bomb. Back to hallway. See what happens tomorrow. Closed circuit audit starts. Carpet's waist size and weight are as expected. Moving van is in place at location. Carpet unrolled in front of location. Remember, target must be upended over carpet, then wrapped quickly and put into van. No more than eight seconds, gentlemen. Relax, mate. We've been doing this for years. Tube station. Hmm, so this isn't the same same transition scene. What is this? Why do I have a tube station? In the city. Am I gonna meet me in the train? Some bad dude gonna jump me in the train? Or you just wanna you just wanna show off your animations? Sure, okay. Oh, we're at Blackfriars Bridge. So the suspect is no longer active. You may still need to tie up any loose ends. Suspect is no longer active because we've abducted him. Okay. Do you really know what was going on? If you stop a suspect too early, you risk losing information. Okay. Now that you have come to the attention of the Ministry, you can infiltrate any groups involved. You can still search a suspect's premises, even if they are no longer active. Alright, so I think that was probably telling me you probably shouldn't have abducted him so quickly. Because now we don't know... We could have followed him some more, but I, you know, feel like he had a bomb with him. So we should probably have acted quickly. I mean, look, that beware, be vigilant. That guy's head was a bomb. If we see a bomb, we should take action, right? Let's let's get the let's get the repercussions of what happened. Day five, office of the director general, late morning. You have three new suspect files. Okay, enter the office, please. Friday, April 5th. What do you have for me? Read the reports. Item seized or observed. Note. Scribbled reference to Victoria Station. Abduction department has taken him. Interrogation reports as follows. So we didn't get the bomb. We just got a note about Victoria Station. Where'd he put the bomb, though? So here's our... our 
surveillance of his apartment or his, of his house. He left his home. The ransack team entered uh, nine minutes later. Mr. Humphreys returns home. Interrogation team abducts him like the same time he comes back home. Well, oh, where's the bomb, sir? We have infiltrated the ar the uh, Irish Liber Irish National Liberation Army. No rear exit. Frontage onto street. Victoria Station. Platforms. North exit. Main entrance. South exit. Detained. Subject is healthy. We are using intensive questioning on him. Repair orders. Increase level. Alright. Um... We don't really need to do anything at the lockup garage. It's already under surveillance. The Liberation Army. We're already infiltrated. His house. I mean, we can go through it all day long, but we've already searched it. We've already ransacked it. Uh, Victoria Station. I need to. Uh, I need to search that location, please. Actually, I. I mean, ransack is not great because this department targets small compact locations, so I can't actually do those. I can assault it, but uh, that's not a great idea. I should probably just surveil it. No, I don't have any teams assigned. Nuts. Um, I can stop surveilling his house now. He's not there anymore. that away um, surveillance order of his house let's rescind that I don't need that anymore surveil the lockup garage I should probably continue that interrogation order of mr. Humphrey current interrogation level at yelling yes let's just yell at him please um, surveil the lockup garage and yell at mr. Humphreys that's the only thing we're doing right now So does that free up Victoria Station to be surveilled? Does indeed. Okay, please surveil them. Just uh, check to see what happens at Victoria Station, please. I mean, I can't search or ransack or assault the, the railway station. search them this man I can ransack this man oh that's that's his house I mean he's already in custody so I just need to find that bomb but with this uh, with this uh, this video being half an hour long now it's probably a good time to end it look us we're slightly up we're up by two points all right way to go us um yeah, I think this is a probably a good time to save and end the episode. Quick save of my game, please. And that's it. Well, that's it for now for uh, Floor 13 Deep State. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again next time.